hello and welcome back to another reality check video review. As you can see by the title of today's video, we're going to be jumping into something extremely exciting and as you can see it it, it fits on a desktop. So it, this is the SLA review of the FL Suns resin 3D printer and I have never experienced this technology before. In, in, in my past experience for the last dozen or so printers I've been using, they're all FDM versions. Uh, this is a little bit different in that it is a stereo lithography and that it uses actually you know, lasers to, um, you know, actually uh, create the the prints. So what's gonna happen here is there's some mirrors inside there and it's gonna be using a whole different type of obviously code to create these images. And uh, like I said, I'm kind of a noob to this technology so I'm really excited to get into it right now. And if you are familiar with this technology at all, you'll know that these printers are generally right around $3,000 and up. Being that it is an inverted SLA printer, it's cheaper, it can be a little bit smaller, and this one is actually right around $500, uh, less than 600 bucks, which is incredible for the fact that it gives you a nice entry point into this technology. And, and even having said that, I know the build plate in there is pretty small, but I'm excited to see what we can actually get done with this printer right here. So let's get it out of the box and stop just talking about the cardboard. Wow! Oh, yeah! Oh, one more thing. Oh, so I got this free print a long time ago. You, you can't really see it over there. So if you go to the Formlabs website, they actually have free 3D prints they will send you to show you the kind of quality that you can get from a, a resin printer, which is phenomenal. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move back to this guy and see what kind of quality we can get with him. The printer comes all together, so you don't actually have to do any building of any kind. It is just all enclosed. All right. Okay, so we've got one little separate piece here which has some gloves, it looks like, to uh, handle material. It also has a mask here for your face. Also, we've got a USB stick here. Okay, so we're gonna get all this plastic off first. And on the front here, we have a 4.3 inch LCD screen. Okay, so right here is going to be the actual resin, the liquid resin material. Be careful when you're pulling this guy out, you don't want to puncture it accidentally. All right, and this comes with 500 grams. Okay, so the first thing that we've done is we've actually loosened these four screws around the top right here. So now this top plate can move up and down nice and easy. Very simple like that, right? And then right here we just take off these two screws that are holding this top plate and this is just going to be where the resin is going to be uh, actually placed into. This is the, the resin pool, you might call it. So also we went ahead and plugged in the machine and flipped the switch and the first thing it does when it turns on is it's going to ask you to auto level. And it says to remove the model, make sure there's no model on there, clean the box, and of course, loosen the screws. Uh, so we've loosened the screws, they're loose, there's no screws on here. We're gonna hit the next button on here. And as soon as we hit next, and it is gonna stop right there. Okay, so wherever it stops, this is where you wanna lock the screws. Okay, it says lock screws, finish calibration, hit done. Now we're gonna hit done, and now you're gonna see it's gonna to try to ascend back up to the top. Right. When I hit put show an example, it put FL sun size test, and you can see it's got 20 by 20 or a 10 millimeter circle. And if you keep looking down there, there's the laser. Don't look at the laser, you're supposed to use goggles. Don't look at that with your eyes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish the controls right here. Uh, no auto shut, normal printing. Auto home, no. Start slicing something here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and switch the batter here and then get starting to slice. All right, so I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but what I do know is I can take this memory card and I can put it into the back here. There are two, two counted USB spots on the back of this machine, and that is for charging your phone, any kind of charging of any kind of device, or of course, putting memory cards in, Raspberry Pis in, controlling from your computer, any of the things you wanna do like that. Once we actually do get a model printed, it, it could be sticky or there could be things, you know, because it's a different kind of a, a, a print, you're gonna be using this cover here on the inside, you can't really see it, but there's a light in there. So it's a UV light. Light. And if we plug in this power cable up here to the back of this, as you can see that I'm doing now. Yeah, you can see the UV light now. Now we got a purple light popping up in there. 
and this is what you'll then put over it and that will help cure your actual part for about 15 minutes you want to put it in there for for at least 15 minutes okay so it doesn't actually tell me how much to put in there so I'm gonna kinda of guess my first time and put uh, just about enough to get it to the top here here we go we're gonna go ahead and start putting it in and wow all right, so that just goes up to the tip top of it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start printing. I messed up last time and accidentally made this. Yeah, it's not too pretty. Okay, so this printer looks like it's actually starting to do something. Um, I'm not going to be able to actually really tell until after it gets a little bit higher up on its print. And right now it's 0.003% done. And it looks like it's going to have quite a bit of time left. We are, yeah, seven minutes into 335 minutes. So this is gonna take several hours. And in that meantime, rather than letting the light just hit this resin, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close it up and put this on top of it. And this is going to help keep everything from, you know, going bad. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put this guy on there and see what it's gonna look like here in a couple of hours. We'll be back. Please don't talk about Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video. As you can see, this quality is just amazing. I mean, it's outstanding quality. What you can do with this 3D printer is insane. I have a ball right there that we 3D printed, as well as we have a nice little cobra ring that we created right there with snake ring. Uh, we've also got a few other things that we printed. Whoa, sorry. Uh, that are right over here. I moved the printer because it is a little bit smelly and it was bothering my wife a little bit so I had to move it. Um, as you can see these ones, these prints are a little bit more translucent. These prints just finished and I have not cured them yet uh, or at least I have not uh, put them under a UV light to help them harden at all. So they are a little bit slippery right now. Uh, we've got on the left right there we've got a fish ring with a big large billy bass gaping mouth which is really really cool. Um, and then over there on the right, we've got this guy that's kind of got this little cigar in his mouth and he looks super badass. I mean, the, I'm going to get as close as I can here so you can see what I'm looking at. But I mean, the kind of quality you see around his face, you can see like wrinkles and stuff. I mean, it's really, really outstanding what kind of results that I'm getting here. And these are just the test prints. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more that I'm going to be able to get with this. This is just the stuff that was on the memory card to start with. And uh, it's just, it's amazing for, for you know, less than a thousand dollars, we are now in stereolithography stages where we're sitting here at home with desktop printers, being able to create items that look like this. And uh, sorry about the uh, zoom. Um, but the, the other thing I also want to say real quick is, uh, 
if you're if you're wondering about this process, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to, like I had done before, I'm going to plug in the same power supply that I had before. I'm going to plug it into the actual case that I've got over there. I'm going to put this on top of it, right? And that's going to put a UV light, a purple UV light inside there, which is going to help harden these guys. I'm going to take them and I'm going to wash them with water and a little bit of soap. And I'm going to do that for a few minutes. And as soon as I'm done with that, they're going to be ready to go. So that's pretty much the whole process right there. Okay, so that's going to be it for this 3D printer video. Thank you guys very much for checking it out. Uh, this Florida Suns or the FL Suns 3D printer, this SLA stereolithography 3D printer is extremely impressive. The kind of results that you get with it, the minute details are phenomenal and, and they're very, very impressive. I've never had a 3D printer as impressive as this guy and for the price under $1,000, it's unheard of in the world of SLA printers. So I really hope you guys enjoy this review. Like I said, if you have any questions, anything you want to say, just please put them in the comments below. I would love to uh, see what you guys are wanting to see in the next video because I cannot wait to do some more videos with this printer. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a lot more different tests with it. I've got a lot of plans here in my mind. Oh, and lastly, if you guys have the chance to, you can support the channel through Patreon. I've got some links in the description below. Plus, I'm going to start doing a lot more content for the Patreon givers. If you guys are looking for anything, the links are in the description. So if you guys want to know more about this stuff, just look look in the description, okay? Thanks, thanks, thanks for watching. You guys rock, you guys rock, you freaking rock. Later. Thank you.